Hi, folks. Andrew here. I am the face who runs the place here. Popcorn and whiskey. That's right. And what popcorn and whiskey is, is a live stream show that I do. And uh, I talk about anything and everything. And what I'm going to do is cut up a few segments so you can get a feel for what it is. And in today's segment that I'm cutting up, we were talking about dating apps. The, especially if you're over 50 years old, what guys do not want to see in dating apps from females. Okay. So that's why that's what I talk about. You'll hear in just a second. Uh, well, we'll go over to it. You know what to do. If there's something you enjoy, we're more than happy to have you. Usually it's on the weekends. I do the live stream uh, with it. And uh, once again, I'll be cutting it up and putting it here. All right. So we, we'll be looking forward to you. Enjoy. Here you go. Here's what guys do not want to see on a dating app. I think I wrote an article article about this as well once. Again, if you guys listen to this or watching the replay, I'm going to piss some people off with this one. Hard truth. Sorry. The last thing a guy wants to see on, on your dating app profile is a picture with you with any kind of kids or grandkids. We don't. Why? Because we're not dating the kids. We're not dating the grandkids. But then he comes back, well, yeah, if you date me, you got to date my kids. You got to date my grandkids. Yeah, I know. Duh. Of course we know that. But we don't want to see it right away. Because in my, in my mind, if I see a picture of you on a dating profile with your kid or your grandkid, as nice as that may be, as good of a picture as it may be, psychologically in my mind saying, oh, I got to put up with that right away. Sorry. Just don't want to. Yeah, I know part of your life and very few people um, are in a situation where they don't have any kids or any grandkids. I get it. Very few. I happen to be one of them. Don't have any. That's both a blessing and a curse. Probably more of a curse than anything else, if you want to look at it that way. But that's the number one thing we don't want to see. Number two thing, we don't want to see pictures of you and all your friends. We don't know who you are. I don't know how many profiles I've seen in the past where there's a picture of somebody and they have the, you guys remember the glamour shots back in the day? I call them the glamour shot pictures. The first picture to get our attention, our being the guy attention is a glamour shot picture. The next four or five pictures is the person who has the profile along with a friend or two or three friends. And we don't know who's who because they look completely different than their profile picture. So don't do that. Unless you point to you and say, this is me in this picture over here. We don't do that. Sorry. Okay. And me. All right. Now I got to relax a little bit. I'll show you Grover here. There you go. All right. I'm going to come back up in a second. I'm just eating my popcorn back here. Something else I personally don't want to see. And if this is on, if you ever date or have this in their profile or anywhere on your page, anywhere, this is what I don't want to see. If you have to tell me your pronouns, we're starting off on the wrong foot. Okay. I know you're a she, I know you're a her outside of that. But if you have to tell me you're a she and a her, we're not going to be, on, we're not, we're not going to start off right. And I'm going to probably going to swipe left on you again. I'm sure that there's guys who don't agree with what I'm saying, but I can promise you a lot of guys are saying the same thing I'm saying right here. And if the lady wants to come on, Tammy, if you want to come on with me tonight, we can talk about this from a female perspective. I would love to hear that as well. Uh, Brenda, if you want to come on, talk from a female perspective. And I said, Tammy, because Tammy is single. Brenda, you have a, a, a significant other. Nice guy. So we can, we can do it that way if we want to as well. Okay. So, so those are some things that we don't want to see on your profile. We don't want to see five pictures of you and your dog either. Yes, guys love dogs. I don't want to have to compete with a dog. I'm, I'm sure I will, but I don't want to. I don't want that in my mind to begin with. You need to set yourself apart from all the other ladies out there. Same thing, and we can say this in reverse too. I'm looking at it from a guy looking at a woman's dating profile. Right? We don't want to compete with anything else out there. If you have uh, dogs or cats that are, are all over your photos, um, sorry, 
ain't going to happen. Or I shouldn't say it, it ain't going to happen. First of all, it's not proper English. It isn't going to happen. Um, or I should say it's less likely to happen. Yeah, because there's guys out there that will, that will go after that all day long. But are you wanting to get the most attention from a profile? Yeah, I know you want to attract the right kind of guy. Yes, I understand. And the ones who say um, looking for long-term relationship, not looking for a hookup or one-night stand. Yeah, we get it. Everyone's doing that. Everyone says that. Okay. Why, why bother putting it in there? And yes, believe it or not, we as guys, we read the profiles. We do. Um, I will read the profile as long as they didn't tell me what the color here is she or her. All right. And then I also, and this is my quirk and I don't want to say it's across the board, but this is my quirk. If you put your political preference in there, sorry, if this is going to offend some people, I leaned on the conservative side. If you put on there, you're a liberal. I don't want anything to do with you. I think you're a nut job already going into it. Is it right or wrong? Yes. <laughs> it's however you want to make of it. Okay. I don't want to see that you are less likely to get a, or I'll put it this way, you're putting your dating pool or in half if you put your political preference on there, in half. Because those who are liberal don't want anything to do with the conservative. Those who are conservative don't want anything to do with the liberal. So if you put that in your dating profile, you're cutting everything in half. Now, if you're a liberal and do not want to go or don't want to be associated with the, with the conservative and put it in and vice versa and put it in. But if you don't care your preference, don't put it in. Does that make sense? Brenda, how long before you have sex that night or wait? Good question. <laughs> but we're not up to the sex part yet. We're still in the dating part, man. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm laughing because there's so many different ways we can go with this one. <laughs> there's so many different ways we can go with this one. <laughs> oh man. I'll get into some stories. One of these nights. <laughs> All right. So that's dating profiles. All right. Um, what'd you say here? That's it. That's what we do with the popcorn and whiskey. We have fun with it. And we had a ball with this one. I had a lot of people commenting and uh, I didn't have uh, anybody call in for that particular segment, unfortunately. But I did have a lot of people typing comments and asking questions throughout the evening. So it was good. Join us. You know what to do. Get the um, uh, subscribe. Hit the notification so you get linked for when we go live. We have a good time with it. And there is not a subject that we will not cover. So who knows what's going to be next? Keep it tuned. Keep it fun. Keep it real. Keep it with us. Popcorn and whiskey live, usually on Friday and Saturday nights. Have fun. Join us. And so until next time, I am Andrew, the face who runs the place. Popcorn and whiskey. Ciao.